Emergency responders and local hospitals teamed up today for a region-wide education event. They're learning new ways to help you if your life is on the line. New Sense Caitlin Conrad has that story. One, two, three. Emergency responders from Northern California to Southern Oregon teamed up today for a region-wide training. This is an opportunity we get together, we can look at some cases together. Multiple fire districts spent the afternoon learning how to safely get passengers out of dangerous car crashes. This is one of the bread and butter operations we have. As far as uh, motor vehicle crashes, we see them quite often. Jason Blount is the training chief for Medford Fire and Rescue. He says new cars are coming out all the time, which is why rescue workers need to keep up to date on changes. How new vehicles come out with new systems and, and how to access them, how to shut them off or how to cut around them. But not all the learning happened out in the field. EMS professionals got to sit on, on lectures with doctors and nurses too. We have a wide variety of topics. Dr. Paul Rosticus says it's important responders to keep up with changing trends. Many of the talks are not focused on just one thing. There are topics that are that are timely, that are interesting. He says one thing healthcare professionals are trying to keep up with is the rising use of synthetic drugs. Bath salts, probably better called synthetics. It is a topic that EMS providers have requested more information on. We are seeing more of it. We are hearing more of it. In Rosticus says here in the Rogue Valley, bath salts are something professionals in the field need to know about because the chances of running into someone using the drug are getting higher. A person has been at, le at the very least claimed to have used bath salts. Um, and so it's a subject that's become more and more known throughout the media. Covering your news in Medford, Caitlin Conrad, News 10. A training will and education will continue through tomorrow.